Hello everyone! You might think you know comics, but here are 12 facts you might not know about everyone's favorite blind lawyer, swashbuckler, ninja, Daredevil. A creation of Stan Lee and Bill Everett, the idea for Daredevil was conceived when Marvel publisher Martin Goodman told Lee to create a new Spider-Man. Daredevil was intended to launch in 1963 alongside the first issue of X-Men. But Everett fell so far behind on his deadlines that the release of the first issue was pushed back six months. To fill the gap in the publishing schedule, Lee and Kirby created a little book you might have heard of called The Avengers. Even with another six months of lead time, Everett fell behind, and so concept drawings by Jack Kirby were altered to make the cover and splash page of the issue. And Spider-Man co-creator Steve Ditko allegedly did some uncredited inking to help get the book to press. Needless to say, Bill Everett was not the artist on issue two. Daredevil's original yellow and red costume lasted only six issues. Within the story, the origin of the yellow suit was that it was made from the boxing robes of Matt Murdock's dad, battling Jack Murdock, after he was killed by the villain The Fixer for refusing to take a dive. Daredevil's now trademark all red suit was designed by comics legend Wally Wood when he took over art duties on the book for a few issues, starting with issue 7, one of Daredevil's best known stories from this early era, where he fights Submariner, ironically the creation of fired artist Bill Everett. One of the more bizarre story elements of Daredevil stories from the 1960s was Mike Murdock, Matt's fictional twin brother that he made up to protect his secret identity. Following a strange storyline in which Spider-Man writes a letter that accidentally reveals Matt's secret, Matt invents a twin brother named Mike, whose confident, carefree attitude more closely resembles the swashbuckling demeanor of Daredevil. Matt, however, soon finds himself enjoying play acting as Mike so much that he begins to have a crisis of identity even considering proposing to his girlfriend Karen Page as Mike. Fortunately, Stan Lee realized that the storyline was weird and confusing, even for comics, and Mike was killed off after about a year and a half of stories. After brief tenures by artists such as Bill Everett, Jack Kirby, Wally Wood, and John Romita Sr., Daredevil finally found a steady artist at issue 20 in Gene Colan. Colan would go on to draw the book for almost 90 issues, 80 of which were consecutive with only three fill-ins. He would also return for a brief tenure on the book in the late 1990s. Stan Lee's run with Gene Colan includes a story which Lee has said is the story he is most proud of from his entire career. That issue is number 47, in which lawyer Matt Murdock defends a blind Vietnam veteran who has been framed for taking bribes. By the early 1970s, Daredevil had been declining in sales and Marvel intended to combine the title with another book that was selling poorly at the time, Iron Man. However, in issue 72, writing duties were taken over by Jerry Conway, the writer perhaps most famous for killing Gwen Stacy, who was 18 years old at the time. After a few issues, he had Daredevil move to San Francisco and introduced Black Widow as a partner and love interest for Daredevil. This addition greatly increased the popularity of the book, and it was even retitled Daredevil and Black Widow for a span of 15 issues. During Frank Miller's tenure as writer-artist on the book, we would see him pushing Daredevil even further in the darker tone introduced by the earlier writers, Marv Wolfman and Roger McKenzie. He added ninjas, gritty urban environments, moral gray areas, and organized crime as major story elements. Miller also turned Spider-Man villain The Kingpin into Daredevil's primary antagonist and introduced one of his most famous creations, Elektra, a Greek ninja Matt had dated in college. Frank Miller's work on Daredevil was so popular that in 1984, when Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird sat down to brainstorm story ideas, they realized that between Miller's work and the equally popular X-Men spin-off, New Mutants, the most marketable idea that they could conceive of would be a teenage mutant ninja. Applying that to a drawing Eastman had done of a turtle, one of the most popular franchises of the 20th century, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, was born. The first issue of TMNT features several references to the mythology of Daredevil, with the turtles being mutated by the same radioactive isotope that gave Daredevil his powers, Splinter's name being a reference to Daredevil's ninja mentor, Stick, and the Foot Clan making reference to the pesky hand ninjas that populated so many pages of Daredevil. One of the most dangerous roles to fill in the Marvel Universe is that of Daredevil's girlfriend. His college love, Elektra, gets killed by Bullseye, resurrected, killed again, kind of, resurrected again, kind of, and then turns out to be a shape-changing alien. Or does she? Matt's one-time fiance, Heather Glenn, falls deeply into alcoholism after some business deals go bad. And when Daredevil fails to come to her aid after she calls for his help, she commits suicide. 
The woman Daredevil actually manages to marry, Mila Donovan, gets dosed with an insanity-inducing toxin by Daredevil villain Mr. Fear, and then goes on to kill a guy and injure many others before being carted off to a mental hospital where she has been ever since. Matt briefly dates a woman with a cartoonishly Irish accent named Gloriana O'Brien before she is summarily thrown out of a high-rise window. Perhaps his longest love, Karen Page, becomes a drug addict, a porn star, and a homeless person before she cleans up her life only to find out she has AIDS. Only then to find out that she only had fake AIDS before being killed by daredevil villain Bullseye. That Black Widow has not only escaped the refrigerator for so long, but also survived to be played by Scarlett Johansson in the movies is nothing short of miraculous. Following that chain of, frankly, pretty grim business, in recent years, Daredevil has been returned more toward the direction of his roots as a swashbuckling adventurer. Under the shepherding of writer Mark Wade and artists such as Paolo Rivera, Marcos Martin, and Chris Salmney, Daredevil has publicly revealed his secret identity again, gotten disbarred from practicing law in New York, and moved back to San Francisco, where he is now wearing a dapper three-piece suit rather than his traditional superhero long johns. He also has a new girlfriend who has managed to continue to be alive since 2011. Fingers crossed for you, Kristen. In the 1989 made-for-TV movie The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, Matt Murdock is hired to defend David Banner, aka the Hulk, when he is arrested for monster crimes. When the Hulk does battle with the Kingpin, played by one Mr. John Reese davies of the Lord of the Rings and Sliders fame, Murdock teams up with him after revealing himself to be the crime fighter, Daredevil. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Comics. Be sure to subscribe for more great comic facts. Like Comics Alliance on Facebook, follow Comics Alliance on Twitter, and get the latest comics news on comicsalliance.com.